Thursday morning, we're back to finish this ploughing. So now we've got to look at these beans, see how how much the weevils are damaging the leaf. They're being eaten by a little bug, and we have got a recommendation to spray them, but obviously we're only going to spray them if they get really bad sort of thing as a last resort. And they look like they've been cut with those scissors. See all the notching around the outsides of the leaves. It is quite bad. It does seem that every single plant has been affected by it, so we might have to spray it. We'll speak to the agronomist, agronomist and see what she thinks. But other than that, looking fantastic. Okay, we've got the drone up. We'll press, we'll press record. And then we'll switch on to the drone camera. I'll put the, put the legs up. So we're on the last patch now. If I switch it, so if we go out a bit, I switch it to smart mode and then it should just follow us down the field. And then, and then in a minute I'll put it right up in the air so you can get a bit of a bird's eye view. And we'll switch it, oh we've got to switch it to smart mode. And then watch me, follow me. Right, I'll rev the tractor up. So we've got the topper going on the front obviously, topping these docks. Put the drone controller on the floor. Yeah, so I'm on the last patch now. Is it gonna follow us? Are you gonna follow us? Yeah, you're moving now. Yeah, we're on the last patch. Annoyingly, it's quite foggy this morning. I guess the evening it was nice and sunshine, wasn't it? But I ran out of time to fly it yesterday evening. So we can bring it in a bit closer. I'm going a bit slow because obviously I'm. Oh, why is it switched off? Because obviously I'm flying the drone, but. Yeah. We are plowing and topping at the same time. There's not much docked here. It's not bad to be honest. It was a lot worse yesterday. But it's some stiff ground. We're on the clay again. But most of our sewer chip patches are on the clay. On the rubbish bits of ground that's no good for planting crops. so you can see from the sky right next to us is the beans the spring beans which are looking really well but they are obviously a bit behind because they were drilled late so not ideal they've got a lot of um, quick growing to do but you're high up in the sky i don't know how far away it'll go in smart mode uh, i'll switch it to normal mode and then we'll just pan around so you can see I should be able to show you a quick clip of what the spring beans looked like this time last year and you'll see how far behind they are this year. Normal mode. So now if I pan around, hopefully you can see... Is it going to go around? No. Yeah. There we go, look. Go up a bit as well. a fair old way. That field looks huge, doesn't it? It's about, 20, about 50 acres, that field. And then, now just coming into shot is the spring, the winter barley, which looks really good. That's all just coming out in here now. That needs spraying with a fungicide. I'll either do that tomorrow, or Monday, or at the weekend. And then back onto spring bean ground, and then you should actually be able to see the today's winter wheat just coming into shot now in the distance, which is another really good crop of wheat. You can't see the Dawson from here, it's on the other side of the hill. See the neighbours are all rape, just finishing flowering. Where have we gone? We are down. Somewhere. 
down. Yeah, so I'm in a bit of a rush this morning because I've got to, uh, Laura needs this tractor for topping, so once I finish this, I'm gonna quickly go and grease the plow, take it back to Jeremy, and then go and put the topper on, and we'll, we'll take the tractor back to Laura, and she's gonna put the topper on and go topping. So she's got some grazing grass that needs topping. The shearing got canceled, they weren't supposed to be shearing today, but that got cancelled. So that's they're shearing next week now. in the corners and, and doing patches like this. This is a lot more easier to use. She's down. Oh. Quickly switch the blades off. We're done. Just dropping the topper off. Back in the shed. Carries the plow fine without the weight, but I wouldn't want to go up the right up the main road without a weight on the front. That's for sure. It'd be very unstable. <laughs> we'll hook that back on. That's better.
the link comes up, plows off. That's that job done. I quite enjoyed using that to be honest. It's just a shame we weren't on some better soil so we could make a better job of it. Watch out ducks. You're gonna get run over. Okay, we're back in the 215 now. I've just put some clean water in the sprayer because if you remember the last thing I used this for was liquid fertilizer. Laura's gone off top in with the 155 and I'm going to run some of this clean water through the fertilizer nozzles, make sure they're all working okay. Then switch to spray nozzles, make sure they're all working fine because I'm going to be going spraying tomorrow. And then, uh, and then I'm going to get a whole tractor and sprayer a wash because the sprayer is covered in fertilizer so I need to get that off. And it is actually starting to rain which is ideal for washing off this kit. Switch back to the spray nozzles now. I'll switch them all to spray now, so we'll turn that on and see. Oh, I haven't switched those ones. Now they're all switched to spray. That one's dripping. Oh, but walk around that side. That one's got a bit of a drip. The rest look good. Let's just see if I can tighten that up. Very nice too. Right, I'm going to give this... I'll put you on time lapse. I'm going to give this a good wash. Thursday afternoon, we got the lawnmowers out. We're at farm two. We're always just mowing the drive at the farm. I only came up to get my discovery. I knew she was coming up here, so I thought I would catch a lift up here uh, to get the discovery. And then I thought, whilst I'm here, I'll quickly do the fiddly bits with this topper. Ideally, I need those gates to close so I can do around the gates. Gates are shut now. We'll go past quick. It was four past the rain this afternoon, but we seem to be missing it. Which we kind of want rain to be honest. The forecast I think that it's about to rain again on Saturday, so hopefully we'll get some better. Laura's making a dust going up the track. I am going back to farm one in a minute. Let's go and finish getting the sprayer ready for tomorrow. That's me done here now. I'll put this away.
Laura's still topping and I'm going back to farm one. So I'm just about to finish for the day. It definitely seems like we've missed the rain. Uh, tractor's clean, sprayer's clean, sprayer's greased. Uh, it's full with water as well, ready for the morning. I'm just filling the clean water tank. I've got chemical. Tomorrow, ideally, I want to spray the winter barley at farm two and the ex day's wheat at farm two. That's the chemical ready for the barley. And this is chemical ready for the ex days, but it's missing one, uh, one chemical. So hopefully that will arrive in the morning whilst I'm spraying the barley. If not, I won't be able to spray the ex days tomorrow. So, but we'll see. It's got quite warm. It almost feels like we could have a thunderstorm this evening. It's hot. Okay, Friday morning. Friday's a spraying day. I won't do too much videoing because uh, I feel like I've done a lot of uh, spraying video in the last few weeks, so you've probably seen enough. But my jobs for today are to spray this winter barley, which is what I'm doing now. There's 50 hectares of this. So I'll get this done in one tank. I'm spraying 96 litres to the hectare. We'll do it in one tank. Get that this done this morning. And then I'll probably do a tank on the next day's wheat this afternoon. If it's not too hot, they are saying 21 degrees this afternoon. Mm -hmm. Boom's dipping into the crop. Yeah, and uh, so yeah, hopefully it won't get too hot this afternoon, but we will see. It feels strange driving through a tall crop with the tractor. You can see the tops of the barley rubbing on the front axle but uh, when I used to drive the Bateman obviously you could never see it rubbing on the front axle so yeah so that's what I'm doing this morning I'll catch you in a bit if you're wondering why I'm spraying the barley I'm just I've only got one chemical in the tank and there was 26 litres of it in four and a half thousand litres of water so it's fairly diluted and it is a fungicide and we're spraying it on the ear of barley. If I get out in a bit, I'll show you a close-up of the barley ear. But yeah, we're just spraying it on it to protect it from disease. We completely missed the rain yesterday. They are saying rain Saturday morning. And then Tuesday, I think, as well. So yeah, with the weather being unsettled, you have to make sure you protect the crops from disease. Just spraying the last field of barley on Friday morning. It's already 19 and a half degrees. It's warmed up quick actually, so I don't know if I will be able to spray the wheat this afternoon. I might have to, I can't do it this evening, but I'll either have to do it Sunday evening or uh, Monday. So we did think about putting the mowers on this weekend and dropping some grass, uh, but they're forecasting rain for Tuesday and low pressure. So we thought it would be too risky to because if we don't get the grass dry uh, by Monday, it's a lot to bale on Monday, and if you don't get it dry, it's no good wet in the bale. So we're going to wait until next week. Hopefully later on next week, the weather will settle down properly. The boom just dipped in the crop. I'm not panic for a second. It does that sometimes. If the radar is over a tram line, it will think that the boom needs to be 60 centimeters off the ground, and then dips into the crop. So. It's not ideal, but most of the time it's fine. We've run out of spray. Crikey, this is taller than it looks, right up to my waist. Uh, yeah, so we've run right out of spray. So I'm going to switch that down there like that, and it's going to suck clean water out of the black tank. See the hear the pump kicking in now and uh, put it in there and then we'll quickly spray it out in the field. It's just I don't want to leave this chemical in here. Well, I've still got one tram line to do actually. So we'll just, we'll spray out the washout water at 200 litres to the hectare. And, uh, and plus I just didn't want to leave this chemical in the line over lunchtime. So, there you go. There's the barley. Doesn't look overly thick, but how many tillers are there to a plant? About four or five tillers to a plant. Oh, I've got to do. Let me have a look and see how much is in there. That'll probably be enough. Oh, 
Uh, yeah, 232 litres we've just put in there. Says it right there, that. 228. Yeah, I'm just pumping that clean water out at 200 litres to the hectare now. See, we're at 49.8 hectares. Uh, it doesn't actually feel that hot out there, so I should be able to do, be fine to do at least one tank uh, on the wheat this afternoon. Okay, I'm back at, I've just been back uh, to the farm, refilled with spray and had some lunch. Now I'm back out, just about to start spraying. It's still only 18 degrees, so we're okay for temperature at the moment. I'm just gonna have, I think I've put three different chemicals in for this fungicide, spray on the wheat, but I have got to put some turple in as well, which is a straw strengthener. Oh, we're all right. And basically we can't put the turple in if it's already coming out in here. It'll be too late to put it on. Let me put this. But we're fine, the ear's not out yet. So I'm gonna, I brought the turple with the extra chemical with me. There's the ear, look. So that's the flag leaf. And then the ear comes out once the, next after the flag leaf. I brought the chemical with me. I'm just gonna put my gloves on. I'll put my gloves on and put the turple in, which I brought in here. It's only four cans. And I've got enough in the sprayer to do 30 hectares. So, Oh, I think I left my paperwork back in the spray store, which is annoying. Okay, thanks for watching the video, guys. I will, I've got one more tank to do, one more fill-up to do down here on this X day's wheat. Uh, so, when I come back, I will bring the drone. So, that'll either be at the end of this video or the start of next week's video, depending on when I come back and finish this spraying. It'll either be over the weekend or Monday morning, so we shall see. And then hopefully next week, once I'm once I'm all up together with the spraying, we'll be able to, and the, if the weather comes right, we'll be able to put the mowers on and uh, drop some grass on the ground and make some haylage.